so you're uh, at Callaway Brock. Don Callaway Brock. Don Callaway Dun Brock. Callaway. Or Dun, yes, that's the Callaway Hill yep. Brock. Yep. And, and its significance is? It's one of those things that people, just like the Callanish stones, don't really know what it's for. Oh, they do. These were, these were uh, uh, sort of um, fortresses, little fortresses that you went to. to pure speculation. No, no, this, I this one. The BBC website only the other day. Yeah. This one was the... Uh, the Morrisons or something uh, holed up in it after they'd stolen a lot, load of cattle from Wiesk or somewhere, and then the Bathersons came and burnt them out and destroyed it. One of the best preserved Brock Towers in Scotland. So it's not just a brock, it's a brock tower. Well, they're all towers, Helen. Well, why do they call it a brock tower? <laughs> and why they say wear sensible clothing and it shows you a picture of, of uh, you know, ice skating the boots. This is the stance. <laughs> <laughs> Are you recording? Yes, I'm recording. Yes. For the benefit of the goodness grace, this particular is always quite ridiculed and everything else on this particular video. <laughs> Well, with good reason. <laughs> A brock. Now, you may be wondering what a brock is. And I think we've tried to explain it before, but they're, they're used for all sorts of modern purposes. But uh, they, they were building these, uh, ooh, 300, 500 BC. And uh, they kind of kind of just disuse around about 100 AD. So they're pretty old uh, and very uncomfortable things. They didn't really have windows in it. Uh, it was just sort of like a chimney that you climbed into and left the wind. Put the heat up and uh, set out the rain. But they were fortifications of some sort, I thought, and they were used during cattle raising and sheep stealing days. To, uh, well, to guard your territory or to uh, run away from raiders and hide out whilst they break to pillage everybody else. Rings. Well, not from the capitals, but from New Zealand. <laughs> but, which can look. It's all true, it's a piece of tradition in this case, because it's definitely a hobbit. You may well be thinking he's a bit perkier than he was when he first started all this expedition. Well, I am feeling a lot perkier, a lot better. I hate to tell you the operation that I had, but I can assure you it was hell on earth. Never, ever do I want to go through that again. I'm still suffering a bit, but I'm a, a lot better than I was. So, here we are. Welcome to 
Welcome to the Carlo Way. I don't know why it's called Carlo Way. This, this way, there's a guy called Carlo. So, what's this say here? Brooks are among Scotland's most impressive prehistoric buildings. These stone round houses date from around 2300 to 1900 years ago and are found mainly in the north and west Scotland. Probably built to reflect the prestige and status of their inhabitants, Brooks were primarily dwelling places for the principal family in the area. They would provide some protection against sporadic raiding, but were not purely defensive structures. Well, I'll show a picture. Yeah. All I have to say is it must be bloody dark in there. I think these were bigger. They were, came out, out here and there was sort of an inner wall. Oh, because I, I've got the wrong lens now. I'm up here. <laughs> It's a good one coming up. Oh, right. How could that be a wrong lens? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a good thing I got this. Yeah. Yeah. For little people. Oh, it's yes, kept, kept the wind out. Uh, and you had a sort of spiral staircase around the edges. Well, I'm sure it was, uh, you put your animals down the b below uh, and you got above it. But it would have been smoky. Yeah. And there it says two, three thousand year old. Thank you.